Welcome to today's message from our Divine Compassionate Guides. Today I'm pulling from the Starseed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. So let's find out what message our guides have for us today. Ooh. Baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. As I advise, take a deep breath in. Allow yourself to exhale, getting centered. And let's become open to our message. Baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. You're being called to take grounded action in response to your soul's calling. To start where you are and begin building in a consistent way. So many people stop themselves from living a soul-led life because they're waiting to know the destination before taking the first steps. But intuition doesn't work like that. Our soul is always calling us every moment of every day. The way to find yourself living in harmony with the cosmos is to listen to your soul's baby calls and whisper each and every day and to take grounded action in the direction of those calls and whispers. You're being encouraged to start small, bite-sized, to put one foot in front of the other, to do one thing every day to break down into achievable tasks. Time on Earth goes slower than on other planets. This may cause frustration for starseeds who can expect a faster pace of manifestation and thus give up before the seeds begin to sprout. If you res resonate with that, it's time to opt for consistency over urgency. Time to take baby steps in the direction of your calling to remember that you don't need to have it all figured out or know exactly where the path is leading. You don't need to know every single step along the way before you set out for your great journey. You just need to take the next set step. Good thing I can speak. You just need to take the next step. And our inquiry with this card, what's one simple baby step you can take in the direction of your soul's calling? What's one simple baby step you can take in the direction of your soul's calling? What's one simple baby step you can take in the direction of your soul's calling? So as always, take a few moments to resonate and contemplate with the message. What did you get from it? What is it telling you to do? I really feel it's obvious that it's telling us that we need to trust the intuition, just like we pulled before, that we are the light and we are connected to divine God source. So again, we're being told to take those baby steps towards trusting the instincts, trusting that gut, reconnecting. Follow your intuition, even if it doesn't necessarily always make sense. Have a beautiful day and until tomorrow, Namaste.